Hey, what's going on, guys? It's a family friendly gamer here, and welcome back to another video. Real quick, guys, um, I'm I'm sorry. I tried to record the audio. The audio just kind of cut out for whatever reason. I, I apparently didn't hit record audio or whatever. I don't know, guys. I'm really sorry about that. But I mean, the game isn't bad. I think you guys actually like the just the gameplay by itself more than me actually talking over it um so i mean yeah here's the video um it's the rest of putt putt um it's putt putt and pep save not save the world putt putt and pep's birthday surprise um i mean if you want to watch part one there will be a little um icon in the corner right now for you guys so i mean yeah until next time guys this is the family friendly gamer and i hope you guys all have a great day Maybe if I gave that crow something more sparkly than that key, he'd give it back to you. Well, until you find something more sparkly, I'll keep trying this crow chow. This bag is where I put the items I need to get for pet. Mr. Baldini. Hi there, a putt putt. What brings you here on a this a fine day? I'm doing a little shopping for a special occasion. A special occasion? You know, tomorrow. Oh, now I remember. Mildred brought a me an invitation to your surprise party. That's a lot of carrots. Don't I know it? Everyone. That's a lot of carrots. That says sugar. What's in the barrel? It's enriched the flour. That's a like regular flour, but better for you, so it would make extra nutritious baked goo. Hello, welcome to Sunshine's Holistic Happiness Shop, your source for all that is groovy. How do I know what's groovy? Everything here is groovy, and I'm groovy, and you're groovy. Shh. Ooh, what's this? Those fuzzy Shh. dice are a mod fashion accessory for any couple. I think I'd like a different item off your free table. Like, you should share the love and put the other thing back if it's not what you truly want. Ooh, what's this? That's the crystal of shiny sparkliness. Birds are mesmerized by its sparkle and will drop anything to have it. It's free if you want it or something. You sure you don't mind if I take it? Sure, no charge. Shh. 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 Neato! Be groovy. I can't do that. I can't put that there. Here, Crow. He dropped the key. Here you go. Thank you, Putt-Putt! Could you please be a dear and bring in those boxes for me while I wrap up your banner? Sure! Don't 
Those are Ms. Widget's party supplies. I should take them inside. But I need to go alone. I don't want Pep to see the... your friend, the Dalmatian. It's time to go, Pat. Put out any fires lately, Smokey? Put out any... Hi, Smokey. Sure, Pat. Go play with your friend, the Dalmatian. Put out any fires late? Hey, Pep, over here, boy. <laughs> sure, Pep, go play with your friend, the Dalmatian at the firehouse. Here are your big boxes, Ms. Widget. Thank you, Putt-Putt. It'll just take me a moment to put these away. Party time yet? Not. Did you say you were going to give me a banner for the party? Sure. Here's a big, beautiful banner. As a reward for helping me with that silly crow, you can take this box of party goodies with you. Super. Thanks. This is the special bag Mrs. Widget gave me to store all of the items I need for Pep's party. I still need a cake, confirmation from... I can't wait to... I should go back to the fire station and pick up Pep. Here, Pep. It's my favorite magician, Marvin the Marvelous. Hello, Marvin. Greetings and salutations, Putt-Putt. Tell me, Marvin, how's tricks? A great magician never tells, but a great magician shows. Alazuma Pasadena, and a one, and a two, and a... a la geranium. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It was supposed to be a bunny, not a book. Well, it's still a pretty good trick. It's not every day you get a book from a hat. I'm not sure what went wrong here. I've always been able to get happy bunnies from my magician's hat. Hmm. I think I know what's wrong. That doesn't look like your normal magician's hat. You're right. This must be someone else's hat. My hat is tall and flat on top and doesn't have horns. There must have been a mix-up in the cloakroom at my last show. I could help you find your... Wow! talk to Ms. Widget alone. I don't think I should bring Pep along. <coughs> yes, Pep. You can go play with the firehouse puppy. Is it party time yet? Not yet. But... It's time to go, Pep. This bag is where I put the items. Those are earth skates. They're like regular roller skates. That's a silver cord. It keeps your lamp from floating away into the ether, man. I'm not... <laughs> What's in the barrel? It's enriched the flower. That's a like regular flower, but better for you. So I hope you'll be there tomorrow. I sure will, Putt Putt. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <sighs> Yippee! There's another. Wowie zowie! Not one, but two caristas? I guess that means no waiting in line for Coco anymore. Is that Coco you're selling there? Well, hello there, young sir. Why, yes, but it's not just any Coco. to ask you a question about a cake for a special occasion. I think we should talk about this in private, by ourselves. 
Hey, Pep, could you do me a big favor and go get me some cocoa? Ah, now we can talk privately. I understand you're planning a party for Pip. Yes, it's going to be a surprise party tomorrow. I'm sure it will be a great party, and I'll be there. I need a cake for the party. You came to the right place. I can make very special party cakes for anyone, even puppies. And you can even help me decorate it. The only problem is that I'm out of two important ingredients. I need sugar and eggs. Couldn't you just make a cake without them? Heavens no! Without those it'd be more like a brick. If you bring me those ingredients, I'll make the cake and you can decorate it. Thanks, Pep! Thanks, Putt-Putt. See you soon. <laughs> Mind if I fill my sack with sugar? Be my guest. I'll just put it on Mrs. Goodbake's tab. Mmm, sugar. I'm afraid I'm all out of fresh eggs. Torville was supposed to deliver them this morning, but he didn't come by. Maybe you should head over to the farm and get some really fresh eggs. You got yourself an empty egg carton there. Probably best if you filled it up with nice fresh eggs from the hen house. It's over there. Is it okay if I go to the hen house and look for fresh eggs? Oh, sure. That's the best place to find them. But keep an eye on them chickens. Don't believe everything they tell you. These hens lay eggs. I can get some here for Mrs. Goodbake. Can I have an egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? Weepo Matic. This pushes the eggs into the tubes. Can I have an egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? Can I have an egg, please? Can I have an egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? Can 
Can I have an egg, please? Wow, what colorful cartons! I have to match the eggs to the colors in the carton. Now to get these eggs to Mrs. Goodbake. Thanks again for all the fresh eggs, Torval. Oh. Hot ziggity! Another rubber band! That makes five! Hank will be so happy. I appreciate your help with my secret... rubber band. Guess what I... Did you know that Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon, secured most of his equipment with rubber bands? That's rubberific! Ferrets like to chew on foam and rubber, so it is important that you keep objects like rubber bands, shoes, and any toys made of these materials away from your ferret. I don't have a ferret. Get Mrs. Goodbake a cocoa, please. Here are those eggs you needed. Thank you, Pip. put some decorations on the cake first. Mrs. Goodbake, have you always been a baker? No, I used to be a gardener, but I quickly... Hey guys, I'll be right back. Mrs. Goodbake gave us to decorate Pep's cake. That goodie bag is full of pieces of candy. And the letter, shape, and drawing tabs below that have even more great stuff. draw with those shapes. Pep's really going to love this cake. This is going to be the best birthday cake ever. This is looking great. <laughs> Look at all of these decorations. This is going to be the best birthday cake ever. I can't wait to see Pep's face when he sees this. You must have a real... Hey, Pep! This cake's ready to go! This is the special bag Mrs. Widget gave me to... Thanks, Putt-Putt. See you soon.
I think the bunnies are coming out of that hat. That's ridiculous! I'm pretty sure they are. have any idea how to get rid of these bunnies? I remember seeing carrots somewhere else. I'll go get some. Yes! Carrot! That's a lot of care. I wish I had some apples to sell. That's a lot of pipes. I wish I had some apples to sell. This bag is... That won't go there. How's your planning coming along? I'm doing pretty well. That's a lot of carrots. Don't I know it? Everyone wants a apples and nobody wants a carrots. Are you sure you don't want to bake a carrot cake? No, thank you. I wish I had a, some apples to sell. How's your planning coming along? I'm doing pretty well, but I'm still missing a few things. Your apple bin has carrots in it. Do you have apples somewhere else? Sadly, no. I'm all out of apples. Everyone wants a shiny round of apples, but all I have are these pointy little carrots. Torfield the tractor is supposed to deliver me some apples, but he hasn't come by today. I've still got no apples. I, I've still, I wish I had uh, some apples to sell. I sure do. I was supposed to take them to Mr. Baldini, but I hurt my back last night dancing with the chickens. I'll be okay, but I can't take the apples to Mr. Baldini right now. I can take some of them to Mr. Baldini if that would help. That would be wonderful, Pot Pot, and that might even clear a path to my dairy barn. Thank you, Torval. These apples. are some super apples. They go right into the bin. Hey, the bin's not quite empty. A few of those pesky carrots fell into it. Oh, nobody wants a carrots, and I've got a plenty to spare. You cannot take them away. How do you like them apples? I like them. I like them a lot. Thank you for the apples. And thank you for the carrots.
have? Carrots! Wow! I've never seen so many bunnies in a library before. Let's see if I can use these carrots to lure them back into that magic hat. Uh-oh, I guess the bunnies are afraid of Pep. I don't think Pep likes carrots that much. In you go, bunny! Oh boy! Another one! Enjoy your carrot, little guy! All the bunnies are back in the hat! All the bunnies are back in the hat! Yep, back in the hat. My library is back the way it should be! Thank you, Putt-Putt! You don't need this magician's hat, do you? If you want to take it, please go ahead. The only hat I want has shiny horns on it. Thanks! I think this belongs to someone else. I'll take it back to its owner. Marvin, is this your magic hat? There's only one way to find out. Africa. This is the special bag, Mrs. Widget. Your hat seems to be working really well. This bag is where I put the items I need to get for Pep's party. again for the party decorations, Ms. Widget. You're welcome, Putt-Putt. In my book, every party... Here, Pat. Smoke... I'm Reginald Windbag the Third. Tomorrow I'm giving Pep a birthday. P A R T Y. A penguin? It's hard to explain in front of you know who. <coughs> I think that pup. I have some string here. Would you be willing? This is the special. You make a tag with the tag making machine. I can. Hey, Mr. Kibble, I see you finished. Okay. Says here to just push the buttons at the bottom to choose the shape and color you want for your new tag. And if I want to put Pep's name on it? Hmm. If you would like your tag engraved, push the text button, then type your inscription. That's all there is to it? Yep. And once you're all done, pull the big red lever and the machine will take care of the rest. This lever will make... Yay! I, I have everything. Pep sure looks like... It's time to go, Pep.
I have everything I need for Pep's surprise party. I'll just set everything up tonight while Pep's sleeping. Would you like to play again? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 